Well, have you ever thought about how to solve x to the x is equal to 2 then? Hmm, this is not so easy anymore, isn't it? And in order for me to solve this for you guys, we will have to use some new tools, and that tool is called the Lambert W function. And before I get into the details, I just want to make a connection between the things we just did. All right, so let's review this real quick. Why did we take the natural log on both sides? It's because natural log is the inverse of the function e to the x. So I just write it as natural log of x is the inverse of g, where the original g is e to the x. And whenever we're talking about functions at their inverse, we should technically talk about their domain and range, right? And usually, the inverse function might be hard to do, so you want to attack the original function. Suppose you do have this as your original function, e to the x. You can figure out the domain, and it is going to be negative infinity to positive infinity, and then the range of e to the x is from 0 to infinity, not including the 0. Once you have this information, to get the domain and the range of the inverse, it's not that bad at all. Because the range of the original is the domain of the inverse. So the domain of ln x is this, and then the domain of the original is the range of the inverse. No. So if you put the original in, so you're talking about ln of g of x, which is saying ln of e to the x, and you see, they cancel because ln is the inverse of g. So they cancel and just get the x. And that's what we did right here. Likewise, if you do it the other way around, if you have g on the outside of ln, and you can put ln into this x because I entered the ln into the x right here. So you're saying e to the ln of x right here. Once again, they cancel, you just get x. Anyway, here we go. The notation that we're going to use is w of x. Nothing too fancy. If you want, uh, you can put on lw for Lambert W function. And earlier, if you didn't like LN, you can just put on L. So, same idea. But this is the classic notation, W of x. And this right here also is a uh, inverse of some function. So let me write it down, the inverse of f. And what the f is this, though? Well, the f is not only e to the x, but also you have to multiply by an x in front. So as you can see, this is really similar to that, but I think this is more powerful and definitely more awesome, of course. And of course, let's talk about the range and the domain for these things. It's easier to figure this out, so let's do it right here. And of course, you can check out my other video, because I did a graph of x times e to the x for you guys already. Well, unfortunately, it does not pass the horizontal line test, so we have to cut it somewhere. And the cut is going to be the lowest value, and that happens to be when x is negative 1. So I will start at negative 1 and goes to past infinity. That will be the domain for this. The domain to have inverse. The domain to have the inverse, not the domain of the this by itself. Well, according to this domain, the range of this is just going to be, you plug in negative 1 here, that's the minimum. So you get negative 1 times e to the negative 1, it will be negative 1 over e. So you go from negative 1 over e to past infinity including these two endpoints. Now, once you have this figured out, you can come here, and you will know that the domain of the Lambert W function is just this. So you can put that down, negative 1 over e to positive infinity. And then this will be the range of the Lambert W function. So let's put that down right here. r is negative 1 to infinity, like that. And pay attention to these kind of things for your own good, of course. Well, well, let's see. We also have two important properties. So the first one is, of course, let me just put f into w. So it looks like w of f of x, like this. Well, what are we talking about for the f? This f is that. So we can write this down as w of x times e to the x, because that's what the f is, right? Now, pay attention to this expression, because we'll be using this a lot. And the idea is, if you have an expression in the form of x and x, and they have to be the same. Of course, you can have something more complicated, but they have to be the same. And the base right here has to be e. And then if you apply w to this, you get just x back. Why? Because w is the inverse of f. So once you apply w to this expression, you get x back. And you see, this is really similar to that, but more powerful. Now. 
Let's do the second one. Of course, we switch the order. What if we put F on the outside and then W in here? Well, W, I really don't have like other expression. I'll just keep it as W. But we know F is X times E to the X. Now I'm entering W of X into F. That means I have to do what? Put this into this X and that X. So earlier you see, I put L and X into G. That means I have to put L and X into this X. This time, I have to put this W of X into here and here. So the expression is W of X times E to the W of X. And you guessed it, this right here will also give you X if you have good X value because you have to worry about the domain and things like that. So pay attention to this expression as well. W of X times E to the W of X is equal to X. However, though, sometimes you may want to look at the expression this way. Let's divide the W of X on both sides. So another look is that you may have E to the W of X being X over, bring this down to the other side. So this is also a popular expression to be aware of. Now, let's focus on how we can solve that equation. Maybe you still want to take the natural log on both sides. It's in fact possible, so let's do it right here, but it's just not enough. Because this time, unfortunately, the base is x, so we cannot cancel anything out. But don't forget, we have that property of ln. When we have a power inside here, we can bring the power to the front. So we get x times natural log of x, and this is equal to natural log of 2, like that. OK, so that's what we have. And we have the x here and the x inside of the ln. What else can we do, though? Take a look right here. Perhaps what we want is this right here. We want to have E for the base. And then hopefully the power and then the front are the same. So I can apply W to it, so I can just get the X right here. Well, this is ln of X times X. And look at what this X is. Hmm, can I invite E to be here? Yes, because I actually have it here x is the same as e to the ln x power. So let me write x as e to the ln x power. And you see, it was x times the ln of x. This is my x. I can put the ln of x in the front. On the right-hand side, we still have ln of 2. Now, this is so wonderful. Why? Because ln of x are the same right here, and the base is e. Therefore, I can just go ahead and apply W right here and also W on the other side. But you have to remember, when you apply W of this expression, what you get is just this. And you put it down one time, namely ln of x. And on the right-hand side, you get W of natural log of 2, like that. One more step will be done because we still have to solve for x. This x is inside of the ln. We just do e to this power, e to that power. Now I can cancel this out. Anyway, you see this is x equals to e to the w of ln2 power, like that. And this will be considered the answer to this equation in the exact form. Some people didn't like it because they don't know what w is, but hopefully after this explanation, you will see that this expression is nothing different than, more different than the ln of 2, same thing, right? And if you have this expression, w, let me show you guys how you can enter that on the Wolfram Alpha. So you have to remember this, w of x, the common on Wolfram Alpha, or Mathematica, is called the product log. Earlier, what's ln? Natural log. This time, you have product log of x. So this is the notation that we're going to use. So if you would like, you can just enter this as, and you get approximately 1.5596. And yes, if you do 1.5596 to the 1.5596, you will get an answer really close to 2. So yes, yes, yes. Hopefully, everybody likes this video now. If you guys would like, perhaps I will leave the question 
to you guys. Can you guys use this right here to solve 